Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about what we call the specific heat and the molar heat capacity and how they're related to one another. First of all, the specific heat has the units of joules per kilogram per Kelvin. In other words, the specific heat of water, and it's indicated with a small c, is equal to 4,186 joules per kilogram per Kelvin, which means to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Kelvin, which is the same as one degree centigrade, it will require 4,186 joules. If we scale that down to a gram, just like we saw in the previous video, the specific heat of water is equal to 4.186 joules per gram per Kelvin, which means that it requires 4.186 joules, remember that was equal to one calorie of energy to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Kelvin or one degree centigrade. Now when we define molar mass, that is the mass of a mole in kilograms per mole. So the molar mass of water is equal to 18 grams per mole or 0.018 kilograms per mole. Now when we talk about molar heat capacity, which has the units of joules per mole per Kelvin, that is actually the product of the specific heat times the molar mass. We use a large capital letter C, for water, it is 75.4 joules per mole per Kelvin. In other words, what that means is if you want to raise one mole of water by one degree Kelvin or one degree centigrade, it will require 75.4 joules. Let's see if the units work out. So here we had units of joules per kilogram times Kelvin. And if we multiply that times the units of molar mass, which is kilograms per mole, Notice that when we multiply, the kilograms cancel out and we end up with units of joules per mole times Kelvin and that's indeed what we had over there. So you can see that molar mass or molar heat capacity simply means that we multiply specific heat times the molar mass. In other words, molar heat capacity simply means that it's that many joules that you need, 75.4 joules, to raise the temperature of one mole of water by one degree Kelvin. And that's how we define these units.